Hey guys, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where I'll show you the exact tools used to execute various business processes within the world of real estate investing. Today's video is going to show you a few quick tips, uh, a couple hacks for Podio, and uh, some of the things that were honestly frustrating for me when I first started using it, but um, Podio has accounted for pretty nicely. So these should be pretty quick, uh, pretty simple, beginner level. Uh, you don't need any special um, premium Podio or anything like that. And some of you might know how to do this, but it is really important. Uh, we're going to focus on two things. The first is calendar integration. And the second is using our email to push items to Podio. And we can do that in a few ways. One is creating tasks from email. The other is something that becomes really powerful, which is the email to item functionality. So again, all of these are native to Podio but uh, I think they're worth a demo. So first, we're gonna talk about calendar. So if you're like me, you like everything in one spot. Uh, you would like for all of your calendar events to kind of show up in one place. For me, that's my iPhone um, and my calendar app. But before that, it's kind of Google and Google calendars. Um, so I want everything to be on Google Calendar so that it can be on my iCalendar because those two are synced. But what gets frustrating sometimes is we have date events in Podio, whether it's meetings or something that's driven by a date in Podio, and we care about the date, and we might want it to show up in our calendar, and it would be silly to go into Podio and add an item, and then go to your calendar and add an, add an item, because those two won't stay in sync. Things change, meetings change, etc. So we want to stay in Podio as much as possible. So what we're able to do is we're able to sync our calendars. So I'm gonna show you that with the Showings app. So I have an app, I have a couple apps that are date-driven in my setup. One is Meetings, the other is Showings. And I'm gonna show you how that how we can create a showing um, and we can sync our calendars so that they will match, okay? So I'm gonna create a sample showing with a uh, fake tenant named John Smith. Um, we're gonna just fill in some of these details. I'm gonna say that I'm showing it on Monday the 17th at 9 a.m. All right, I'm gonna show it, so I'm listed there. I have some fields here that we won't get into now, but I like to help myself understand what's going on with the showing. Have I confirmed it with the tenant? Um, does the tenant show up or not? I like to keep stats on that. Uh, if you're just getting started in property management, real estate investing, you'll be surprised how many people don't show up for showings. I like to track that data because um, it wastes my time. So I like to reduce that. So I'll have a stat of percentage of showings that show up and those that don't. And I'll try to fix our processes so that we can uh, maximize that percentage. Also, tenants notified, I won't get into this here, but this is a Globy Flow setup such that uh, if we have a unit that is occupied, if we click the yes here, what will happen is um, we'll automatically send an email to my current tenants telling them, hey, you got a showing coming up. Uh, just be aware that on Monday the 17th between 9 and 9.30, I'm going to be there with a prospective new tenant. So that really helps because as we know that uh, most leases and or most laws require you to provide your tenants with you know, it's usually 24 hours notice, sometimes more before entering the property. So this tenants notified field helps you to do that automatically. All right. That is more advanced, but let's just save the showing for now. So this is going to hit my calendar in Podio. And if you didn't know that, um, that Podio allows you to do a calendar view, it's really neat. So it's just right up here, it's calendar. And you could, if you want, make that the default. Pretty much any date driven app, I would recommend to make it a calendar default. So you can change that in app settings when you go down the standard layout. Um, Podio will default to badge, but if you change it to calendar, that uh, would be good. All right, so I have my calendar set up here. Now this is great, it's in my Podio calendar, but if I look at my Gmail, it's not here anywhere. Okay, so um, I want it to be here because I wanna look at this calendar and see everything I need to. So I'm gonna show you how to do that very easily. So within the app setup here, all we need to do is click the wrench for settings and go add to calendar. And then it's going to let you pick your calendar service. Uh, if you have Google, great. If not, you can use one of these Microsoft ones. Um, and if you don't have any of those, you can always just go right to iCal. So let's go to Google. 
select your account here. So this is the one I want. I have a few different Gmail accounts. And I'm going to add the export. Pretty much as simple as that. It's all done. So now if I go back to this, my Gmail, and refresh, the calendar is added. So over here you show, you see it shows Podio showings. You can change the color if you want, doesn't really matter. Um, and it shows up here. So John Smith shows up. That's pretty neat. So it's all right there and that's what I love, okay? So the sync works out nicely. You can see I have another one in there. The meetings is in there as well. So I have all my Podio stuff hits my personal calendar and I have it all there. And then of course this syncs with my iPhone and everything's exactly where I need it to be. All right, so that's a calendar sync. I think it's very important. I recommend you do it. The next thing I'm gonna do is show you how we can use email to item to stop manual entry from email to um, Podio. So I have a sample in here in my inbox from myself on a different email account. I have somebody who wants to sell their house, okay? So whether you're a flipper, rehabber, um, wholesaler, or buy and, re buy and hold, whatever it is, you're gonna get leads like this, people that wanna sell their house, okay? They're gonna email you instead of using your web form. So I would like to get this into Podio without having to kind of copy and paste it and all that stuff, okay? So there's something called email to item, which is what I'm gonna demonstrate now. So if we go to our sellers app, which I cleared out just for the video here, I'm gonna to go to something called email to app. I'm gonna click this, and it's asking me what account do I wanna use. Again, Gmail show up here, but if you're using something else, um, some other connected service, that would show up. So I want it to be added to nbaldo at nyhsolutions.com. What happens is it's adding this unique address to your contact address, um, address book. And basically what you can do is forward to this, and it'll create new items. Now before we go into that, I just wanna show you, we can map some fields here. Now we're a little bit limited on field mapping, but a few fields are good. So contact information is coming from the send, sender, and then I want the detail regarding your situation as the email body. So these are fields in Podio, and this is what I'm gonna grab from email. Now you can't grab every single thing. It's hard to parse out phone numbers. That's a little bit advanced, but at least it'll be in Podio. And then from there, I can add the detail that I want. I wanna get out of my inbox, that's my main goal, all right? So you'll remember, you'll recall that we had that big long email address. If I go into um, my Gmail here and search Podio and I wanna look in contacts, you'll see here it is. This is the one that got added from Podio. All right, now this is here and ready to go, but what I might wanna do is change the name of this just so it's something easier to remember. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call this new seller. All right, now this email address stays the same. So all I need to do with that email that came in from you know this other person who happens to be me is take this email and instead of even looking at it, I'm not even gonna consider it, I want it to hit Podio. I'm gonna forward it to new seller, all right, send. All right, so that should hit my seller's app. And it did. So you see my contact information filled in. Who's the name of the person, um, the email address, etc. Okay, and then here's the detail that we can then take from this and I can take their phone number and add it. I can take the, the house they want and add it. But at least it's in Podio now and I can work with it here and I can get out of my inbox, all right? So that's kind of a nice advanced feature um, and very easy to set up. Now, if we wanted to set up some field parsing and some Globy flow and stuff like that, that's advanced, but I would at least do this. Get out of your inbox. You can archive that other message and move on from there, all right? So those are the two quick things I wanted to show you today. Very easy, all included with native Podio and um, something you should do right away. Because honestly, the, the beauty of Podio is getting as far away from email as possible. We want our communications, we want our tasks, we want everything out of email, if at all possible. All right, so I recommend you give those things a try. Give me a shout if you have any questions about them. Could be potentially confusing as you start, but I'm here for you. Um, happy to help if I can. So we're gonna continue with a lot of these tips. Uh, we're gonna talk about some formulas, some calculations. We're gonna get into some Globy Flow, which is hopefully coming back 
as far as being an add-on that we can pay for separately from Podio. So I know a lot of people are upset that it's not like that currently. So we got some cool things coming your way. Um, as always, feel free to check out all the resources available at IncomeDigs.com. And thank you for watching.